Hey everybody, Diddy here. Okay, it's nothing like he sounds in the DKC uh, cartoon, but I can definitely tell you they could have picked a better voice for Diddy in that cartoon because it's very jarring. The more he talks, it's just that. Say what you want about the that that show. It's not. It's definitely not one of the positive Diddy's voice. Anyways, here it is. Diddy's splat as well as a ring of bananas. Hopefully the last of his bananas too. I really hope so. But it definitely won't be The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, that game's been uh, heavily panned. And honestly, I know nothing about The Last of Us franchise, but uh, at some point, I will definitely be doing LPs of those, don't you worry. I want to do Let's Plays of as many game genres as possible, because, you know, the more games you LP, the more, you know, the more of an audience you'll have. You'll have, basically, because you're... That's just, just just how I like to do my LPs, you know, I just don't... I want to be able to... I want everyone to feel welcome on my channel, basically, so that's why I'm trying to do a variety of different games. So we're going to switch to Chunky, because Chunky is going to make the rest of the climb up the mountain. Or Mushroom, sorry, it's not Mountain. Definitely not a Mountain. I may be slightly overloaded with uh, Pepsi Cola right now. But I just want to get through that uh, 12 pack as soon as ASAP. Get back to having smaller cans. Nice thing about small cans is that, uh, you know, you. Okay, so this is an instance right here. Because, like, the, the side of the light you're supposed to go up is completely pitch black. So that's what always confuses me. So you can't go up the side that you can actually see. No, it's the dark side. So fortunately, they put bananas on it to not confuse you as much. But still. But yeah, like I was saying, uh... I don't know if it's the sugar that, that I'm addicted to, or the, or the Pepsi, or like the caffeine, or the Pepsi itself. There's a... what? I want green bananas, not green poop, okay? I get that you zingers are trying to help me out, but I want green bananas, not green poo-poo. Jeez. As I was saying... I like uh, the small cans because I can I can drink more of those without consuming having the same consumption as uh, you know the regular size cans. You know, you just you get the idea. It's it's basic math basically or basic logic. I don't know. But either way, we should have just about all of uh, Chunky's bananas by the time we make our way to the top here, which we're almost there, almost there. But then we gotta drop down to that part that you're you're only supposed to be able to access at night. And we happen to know that Chunky's Casplat is there, as well as a his uh, a banana balloon. So that should be the last ten of his bananas, I believe. Yes, it is. I'm just so good at this whole keeping track of bananas thing. And look at that, folks! It made it back up to the top of the mushroom. So let's, first, let's drop down to where Chunky's Casplat is and get that, because there is no way in heck. I'm, yep, there it is, right there. The last five De of Deke's bananas. All right, where are you, Casplat? I think you're right down there. He is right below us. Yep, right here. Okay, so simply drop down to it. I don't know why they didn't think of this. I'm pretty sure if they made an HD remaster, they would fix this. But yeah, it's very easy to drop down here during the daytime. And I believe that's all five of the blueprints. Last of Chunky's bananas. And lastly, jump! Urgh. Oh, dang it, I can't do the urr to save myself. Whatever. All we gotta do now is switch to D and get the last five of his bananas. And we'll be almost set, but we're missing something with the tiny, actually, and I just remember what that is. And it's something very glaring that I can't believe I missed. I can't believe it, but I do see it. Two. Where is that number five pad? Where is it? I don't see it. It's probably over here. I think I get out my list of uh, games I've been collecting recently and talk about that. That way I have something to talk about or two whenever I run out of stuff to talk about. And also that uh, thing I didn't finish in the previous episode, I was talking about like the the song tracks on that Over the Hedge CD. That music CD randomly came with my copy of Over the Hedge. So talking about those. Hey, look at that! All Deke's Bananas! Is that all 500 of them? No, it's only 480 because Tiny's missing 20 of them. That's right, but otherwise think, uh, let's see. Chunky's 100% done. Deke is done. 
De Little Deke is done. Mr. Long Arms is almost done, except for his golden banana that we have to backtrack for. Tiny's almost done. She needs 20 bananas in her last mission, which I just remembered, by the way. Chunky's last mission. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we're gonna switch to Diddy and get those last coins that I mentioned I found in, you know, off screen meant to collect earlier. And then we'll do Tiny's last mission. Both of those things require us to be at nighttime. So, Wurt's go. Yeah, Wurt's gonna go switch to nighttime. Switch to night shift. I promise us night shifters do not talk like this normally. We're not that crazy. Hey, we're only five minutes this episode, too. So it's looking like we're actually gonna finish Fungi Force in this episode, which is awesome! Means we're making great progress here. Yeah, it really does look like we're going to be finishing this, up, this up project in 50 videos. Which is about 40 more, or 40 less than uh, the 2011 Let's Play, which is awesome. But, don't you worry, 2011 Let's Play will always be there for you guys to watch, and me as well. Because, you know, memories and stuff. Dude, I warped here without going to night time. What was I thinking? Why? Why? Yeah, stop that. It's not funny. Tweet! Tweet! Oh, tweet? Uh, I don't feel like tweeting right now. Not in the middle of a Let's Play episode. Sorry, ain't doing it. Sorry, Mr. Cuckoo. I know you look cuckoo in the head for my tweets, but uh, unfortunately you're not going to get any right now. Okay. So where's that number four poured? Number four poured? Yeah, that's right. Is poured even a word? Do I even want to know the answer to that question? I don't think so. I don't think so. Woohoo! Not what we meant to do. We meant to do this. I meant to do a simple long jump, okay? Why do I have to make everything so complicated? Okay, so the coins that Diddy, are, Diddy is missing. Diddy are missing? Yeah, Diddy are missing is over here. It's right here, inside this alcove on the tree. That's all it was. That puts him at 115. And he's still missing those uh, that bunch of coins back in uh, Gloomy Galleon, so... We'll pick those up uh, in between Worlds 5 and 6, how about that? Okay, so, last thing to do is with Tiny, and fortunately it's a nighttime thing, so we don't have to switch back to Day to do this. So, let's get to switch back to Tiny. So, the thing that I missed, and I think I saved this for last in the original Twilight Let's Play anyway, so I'm not... I don't know, just guess it's kind of a coincidence or whatever here. So, take the number one pad. It's over by the mill, actually. Well, it's, it's actually in the mill. But the thing is, you have to go inside the mill at night, but, ha but you're thinking to yourself, how is that possible? when there's a daytime gates on the mill itself. You know, and same goes for the back door that Chunky goes in. So how are we supposed to get inside the mill is tiny? Well, I think the answer to our solution is right in front of us here. Get in there, tiny. All right. Okay, Tiny, you're still missing 10 bananas, because I know where the last five are. Please tell me... Okay, good, they're over here. See, so yeah, the last 20 of D Tiny's bananas are inside here. So, right here, we have a passageway. You can only go inside at nighttime. So, we probably saw that earlier. I didn't think about it, because I totally passed it without saying anything about it. So, let's do this. Are you ready for, ready for this, folks? That's it. That's the last of Diddy Tiny's bananas, and our last golden banana is inside this room right here. Huh. Peculiar. A spider web. Man, it's probably nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's get back in there. But seriously, though, spiders, like, freak me out like that. They freak me the hell out. All right, let's do this. Let me get my picture out here so I can look at the list of games again. Yum, yum. Uh, not yum yum. Monkeys are not to be eaten, dude. Seriously? Well, we got ourselves a mid-boss battle here, which is uh, not very often in this game, but yep, that's what this is. So basically you have to fight all these uh, baby spiders, and then you have to attack the the, the daddy spider. These uh, little spiders take like two hits to kill, so you have to take them down, and then... Oh, whoopsie. Trap. Oh god, it's reversing my controls. My controls are inverted! Oh god, oh! <laughs> that can really screw you up. So yeah, this guy has like a... All these different uh, effects that you can get from him spitting on you. And the green one will invert your controls. It's very reminiscent of the uh, the fight with uh, 
K, uh, Captain K. Rule. You know, the final showdown was Captain K. Rule in DKC2, because he had, like, a different, um, particles he would shoot at you that did, did those things. Kind of like that. Basically, you gotta stab him in the eye with feathers. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. <sighs> Glad I was able to get through this episode without saying one stupid pun. Feather. <laughs> nope, not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Feather, you like it run. Oh my god, dude, what the hell? One episode, dude. You had one episode. One episode to not say stupid puns. Actually, did I say one and begin this episode? Or was that the beginning of the last one? I don't know. I recorded so, so many episodes tonight, so I, that's why I'm so bleh. Oh crap, that one. I think what that one does is it immobilizes you. So watch out for that bright. That white one or whatever it's called. Whatever color it is, I don't know. Jeez, dude. Are you trying to show me your spit and ask me like why why is that way? Is that what your issue is? Are you trying to you know Google what why is your why your spits like that? I think it's because you're a giant spider, a giant monster spider. Okay, that's the explanation here. For the zingers, I'm still kind of trying to figure that one out. But you, and it's just because you're a giant monster. Of K rules creation. Crap. Here, have a feather to the eye. There we go. Whatever, waste all my homing ammo on you. It's just the stupidity of the homing ammo, I guess. You're not very good aiming, dude. Like, seriously? Did I seriously do that? Oh, I guess it has different effects on you. This one, this time it just slows me down. Which is not that bad. It's a fine anyway. It's not like we need to go fast. And after five times, he shrinks down to the size of his babies. Wow. And then we still gotta finish him off one more time with him being tiny. Where is he? There he is. Hi, Mr. Spider. You don't hold a candle to the Spider Atticus fight in Warrior World. Actually, that one was that good either. It was a pretty meh boss fight. But this one's meh. And there we go. The last golden banana for Tiny. And now it's time to turn our blueprints and take on the boss of Fungi Forest, folks. We is done with this world. We did it. Ignore Lanky's number there. Because that doesn't matter right now. Okay, now we gotta find our way outside of here. Or we can just die. Because, uh, you know, it doesn't matter where we end up. Yeah, it just takes us outside of the spider room, so that's fine. Alright. Well, yeah, if you want to, you can take the tiny barrel and go, like, inside here, and they'll take you to the main part of the mill. But there's literally no reason to do that. There's nothing for tiny to do in there, and even then there's a, a tag barrel during the day, so you can just switch to tiny whenever, so... It's pretty pointless, honestly. That's right, Tiny, you're done. You're turning in your blueprints next. Okay, so I believe, uh... Well, if we don't want to switch to nighttime, to daytime, I think the closest uh, Trough and Scoff Warp is right behind the that bar and that DK goes inside. And I believe that's right over here. Yep, it's right over here. Okay. So let's switch to DK because Deke is going to... Sacri be the first sacrifice of bananas for uh, Mr. Scoff or Trough, actually. I still don't remember the names of the hippos. The hungry, hungry hippos. Actually, one of them's a pig, not a hippo. There it is. There's our warp. So after a little bit of swirly, we're ready to turn in our bananas. Let's do this. 300 is a go. That's right, eat up. Make that sound while you're at it in our in our ears. If you're listening to this with ears. Wait, do you guys do my viewers have ears? That's what I was, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, are you guys listening to this with ears? <sighs> I think what I meant to say was headphones, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Diddy. Now your turn. So we're gonna be finding this boss with a chunky, so. 
Yeah, we're gonna turn in less of uh, all of Lanky's bananas, and we have to switch to Chunky. We have to fight the bulls, and we have to enter the sixth world, and we have to do the seventh world, and so on and so forth. It just keeps going and going. So with each stomp, Mr. Uh, Scoff is getting uh, a third of the way closer to the door. And this is the last third, right here. Let's take a look at that list real quick. Just have to go to my phone's gallery and do this. Okay. That list is way back there, geez. Here it is. Alright, Chunky. Let's -a go. Let's go, Chunky. Let's do this. It's your turn to shine, Chunky. Your turn to shine. Oh. Dang it! I was hoping I could sneak Lanky in there. I was hoping Lanky could, you know, like, smother his way in there. But no. We gotta really play as Chunky here. Um, I'm sure there's a way to glitch for the door or something, but you probably automatically switch to whatever monkey goes in there, or the game would freeze one of the two. Alright, Chunky. In you go. Come on, Chunky, you can do this. I'm here for you, man. Whatever you're afraid of. Oh my god, you again? Seriously? This is a forest world. It's not a dragon world. Yep, folks, it's a rematch with Dogadon. He was not fitting for Angry Aztec. He's not fitting for Frantic... For... for seriously? Fungi Forest. Alright, so the background's different, and the music is different, but otherwise, it's the same battle to start with, at least. Grab that TNT barrel and toss him right in his face. This is the battle for the first... The first three hits of this battle are exactly the same as before, so... I'm too excited here. Actually, I think he does have one new move he introduces, like in this first half of the battle. But yeah, there's gonna be a second phase of this battle, so it's different. It's still different than last time, but it's still dumb that you find Dalgonaut again. Why can't it be like a relative or something? Yeah, this is a new move. It's a shockwave move, which you can easily avoid by... Because, like, the, the ground goes up before the shock, actual shockwave hits you, so you have a chance to get above it. Alright. That's, that's two hits right there. This fight does get actually get pretty awesome, like, towards the end of the second phase is pretty cool. Alright. You would think by now that he would understand that his, his pattern of uh, constantly shooting fireballs at me is not working. Oh god! I guess he just did. Now he's throwing this at you. Yep, the big firewall here. I think the only way to avoid this is to. I don't. I honestly don't know how to avoid this for sure. Like I just usually, usually just take the hit. Oh, I guess he does a shockwave move too. Okay, interesting. Well, that's the third hit. So now we're moving on to the second phase here. Here we go. Here comes. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yep, that's right, the platform is sinking. We now have a limited time to defeat Dogadon here, but three TNTs was not enough, so what else do we need to do to, to take him down? I don't know. I guess Chunky's screwed, folks. All that financial compensation he got wasn't worth in the end. There we go, him in the face. Okay, so this time, after him in the TNT barrel, Chunky Barrel appears, and now you get to smack him in the face as Chunky Hunky Chunky. Now that's pretty awesome. That's basically what we gotta do. You just gotta hit him a certain amount of times in order to defeat him. I don't know how, how many times it is. I don't know if you're using the primary punch, or I mean the Falcon Punch. It makes it go any faster, but I like to try to use that at least like once per cycle, so let's try it. Just do that once, and then humble him for the rest of the time you have. You have a very limited amount of time to hit him with each cycle, so you gotta be careful here. But, uh, yeah, you need to be fast here, because the, there's not that much, uh, time to screw around with, basically, in this phase. You're gonna go into that lava if you're not careful. I'm standing at an angle! What the hell, dude? I'm literally standing, standing at an angle for some reason. 
Because I believe stand just the right spot on the pad to be an angle, even as Hunky Chunky. So, turn the right side of the fireball. There you go, have no barrel. And no barrel. Come on. Ugh. Eat it, sucker! Yeah! Oh, now he's burning alive in the lava. There's a fire dragon for God's sakes. And then he gives us the finger <laughs> as he goes into lava. I'm pretty sure they're going more for like a Terminator reference there, but what I see is him giving us the bird as he sinks down to the lava. Fun stuff, either way. That's it, folks. Fungi Forest is done. For now. For now. Soon. Save our game and exit Fungi Forest. All right. So with our new moves, if you can, if you don't recall, now we have the Super Simeon Slam. We can end off this episode. Bye. See you guys next time. Where we're going to uh, we're gonna do some uh, overworld stuff. Uh, turn the key so that we can unlock the next world and move on to said next world. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.